Ooh, MOSFET fun. Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to look at a simple circuit using a power MOSFET. In this case it's the IRFC34N which has an RDS on of 10 volts. So that means this thing will totally turn on at 10 volts. And what we're going to do is we're going to make kind of a DC uh, linear dimmer. I mean, that's what the circuit is going to do. But what I want to show you is a way that you can use a MOSFET as kind of a variable resistor to offload your current handling, cap handling capabilities if all you've got on hand are, you know, little trimmer pots. You know, they don't handle too much current and you need to handle a little bit more current. Well, you can offload the work to a MOSFET and it'll work out just fine. So what we've got here is just a lamp. In this case, it is a 12 volt brake lamp for a car. They work great for little demonstration purposes. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make basically a voltage divider here. Okay. I should have threw that resistor a little lower, right? So we're going to have three resistors, just like this. This one is, of course, going to be a variable resistor. And these are all going to be one meg resistors. We'll connect our lamp to the drain and our source. To ground along with the bottom row of that there and these guys here will connect to our VCC which in this case is just going to be 12 volts DC and then simply by varying this resistor here we are able to change uh, the gate voltage and change the draw on the lamp because you know, small voltage here causes a larger voltage here. That's the beauty of the MOSFET. The MOSFET can handle oh, enormously more power. In the case of this particular MOSFET, I mean, we're looking at uh, 30 amps power handling. I believe that's what it says, right? Continuous current drain at 10 volts. Yeah, 30 amps. You're not going to put 30 amps through a little pot. So there's the diagram. Here's the circuit. There's our lamp going to a VCC. Then it's coming down here into the drain of the MOSFET. This MOSFET is gate drain source. There's our source going out to a ground. We have our VCC brought down here as well. We have a one meg pot, a couple of one meg uh, resistors, and the trimmer goes over to the gate. All we have to do now is hook her up. And we're looking at not enough to turn anything on. Some millivolts. We'll start cranking this up slowly. And when we reach the point, oh, there we go. We get some nice power and then we can turn it back down and our light dims. Now one thing you can do is you can vary your voltage resistor there, voltage divider, to, to kind of tame out this. This has got a real narrow band in it, but it's the only one of these that I had available. But as you can see, it works out pretty well. And it's a simple circuit. I mean, if we want to measure the current here, let me, uh, let me grab some, some equipment and we can do just that. 
meter. Milliamps. And we'll put that on. Put that on 600 milliamps there like that. We'll pull out this guy here. Let's turn this off first. Always good to turn off the voltage to your circuits when you're working on them. Okay, so that's the ground. Yeah, what are we getting here? There we go. Why is it showing me no milliamps? What the hell is going on here? One moment. It was showing me no milliamps is because there aren't any. There are, in fact, however, microamps. That might turn it on. Now what you can see, I don't want to knock everything off there. We're actually looking at only 6.5 microamps to power that light. Now, I'm going to disconnect here, disconnect here, here. We will reconnect our circuit. And I'm going to challenge you to do the math here. So we've got, there's my pen, my Google Schreiber. 6.5 microamps at the pot. Now let's turn this over to milliamps. What we'll do, pull that out there. I need longer leads, boys and girls, longer leads. have them right here. So let's plug this back in here. Ooh. Better not do that. That could lead to a short circuit. So we'll go like this. Clamp them on here. Boom, boom, boom. Everything looks good. Power that up. Now we're looking at 266.3 milliamps. So we have 266 milliamps at the FET. What's the difference? What's the multiplier there? How many more... What's the times 10? What's the, uh, what's the power factor? You figure it out. But this is a simple circuit here. 6.5 microamps controlling 266 milliamps. This is what MOSFETs do great. And is this warm? Not even close. I mean, I don't handle 30 amps. 260 milliamps is absolutely nothing for it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace. I want to thank you all for watching and spending time with me today. Uh, a community like this is uh, something that we can all be very proud of. So again, thank you very much for all your support of Learn Electronics. Uh, please feel free to check out the Patreon page. A dollar a month is all I ask and uh, really helps keep the channel alive. We also have an Amazon shop where you can buy most of the items that you see on here. And there's a link to it down below.